Have you ever wondered who first dared to venture into the human heart, paving a path for modern cardiac surgery? The annals of medical history are filled with groundbreaking discoveries and advancements, but few are as monumental as the first successful open-heart surgery. Imagine the audacity, the courage, and the sheer brilliance it took to tread where no one had before, to delve into the very core of human life, the heart. The realm of cardiac surgery, as we know it today, owes its inception to an extraordinary trailblazer. His name was Daniel Hale Williams. Dr. Williams didn't just perform a medical miracle, he shattered the barriers of what was thought possible in medicine, and he did so against the backdrop of a society marred by racial segregation and discrimination. Astonishingly, this groundbreaking achievement was accomplished by an African-American surgeon in the late 19th century, a time of racial segregation and discrimination. Born on January 18, 1856 in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania, Daniel Hale Williams would grow to challenge the status quo of his time. As a child, Daniel Hale Williams was no stranger to adversity. His father, Daniel Hale Williams II, was a barber who passed away when Daniel was just nine years old, leaving behind a wife and eight children. The family was scattered among relatives, and Daniel was sent to live with a shoemaker in Baltimore, Maryland. However, this was not the life that young Daniel had envisioned for himself. He had dreams, aspirations that transcended the boundaries of his circumstances. His time with the shoemaker was short-lived, as he soon moved to Rockford, Illinois to stay with his sister and work as an apprentice to a barber. It was here that he began his journey towards becoming one of the most influential figures in medical history. Despite the hardships, Daniel had an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a burning desire to carve out his own path. He had an innate curiosity about the world and was particularly drawn to the field of medicine. This interest was further fueled when he moved to Edgerton, Wisconsin where he had the opportunity to work under Dr. Henry Palmer, a highly respected surgeon. Dr. Palmer recognized Daniel's potential and took him under his wing. He saw in Daniel a spark, a drive that was rare. Under Dr. Palmer's guidance Daniel delved into the world of medicine, absorbing all the knowledge he could. He learned about the human body, about diseases and their cures, about the delicate art of surgery. This was a period of intense learning for Daniel, a time when he fortified his resolve to make a difference in the world of medicine. The early years of Daniel Hale Williams' life were marked by challenges and adversity, but they were also characterized by perseverance and determination. These experiences shaped him, honed his character, and prepared him for the great things that lay ahead. Armed with knowledge and a burning desire to make a difference, Williams set his sights on the field of medicine. In 1883, Williams graduated from Chicago Medical College, ready to tackle the medical challenges of his era. With a degree in his hand and a determination in his heart, Williams embarked on a journey to change the face of medicine. He started his private practice in Chicago, Illinois. It was a time when racial segregation was rampant, even in the medical field. But this did not deter Williams, who believed in providing quality health care to all, regardless of their race or social standing. His practice quickly grew, earning him a reputation as a skilled and compassionate doctor. But Williams was not just a doctor, he was a visionary. He saw the need for a medical center that would serve everyone equally. And so, he set his sights on a bigger challenge, to establish a hospital where no patient would be turned away because of their race. In 1889 he co-founded the Southside Dispensary. It was a free medical service for the underprivileged, providing them with medical care they otherwise would not have been able to afford. His work at the dispensary showed him the urgent need for a full-fledged hospital that would serve all patients, irrespective of their race. And so, in 1891, Williams made history by establishing the Provident Hospital and Training School in Chicago. It was the first non-segregated hospital in the United States. Not only did it provide medical care to all, but it also offered training to African-American nurses, breaking racial barriers in the field of medical education. Williams's work at Provident Hospital was groundbreaking. It was a beacon of hope in a time of racial segregation, a testament to his belief in equality and his commitment to providing quality health care to all. But it was a specific event in 1893 that would forever etch Williams' name in medical history. A pivotal moment awaited him, a moment that would not only define his career but would also change the course of medical science forever. But that, my friends, is a story for the next scene. On July 9, 1893, Williams faced a patient with a severe chest wound. Little did he know, this case would change his life and the world of medicine. This was a time when the world of medicine was still in its infancy, 
with many of its procedures and techniques yet to be discovered. The patient, James Cornish, was a young man who had been stabbed in the chest. His condition was dire and time was running out. Back then, the idea of operating on a human heart was considered not just risky, but borderline unthinkable. The heart, after all, was the engine of life, and tampering with it seemed like an invitation to disaster. Yet Williams was not deterred. He knew the stakes were high, but he also understood that without intervention, James Cornish's life was slipping away. Operating in Provident Hospital, which he had established himself, Williams made a daring decision. He decided to perform surgery, despite the absence of many modern medical tools we take for granted today. The operation room was filled with a palpable tension. Each incision was a leap into the unknown, each suture a prayer for a successful outcome. With steady hands and a clear mind, Williams began the operation. He made an incision in the chest, revealing the beating heart beneath. He then used sutures to repair the damage, a technique that was innovative and groundbreaking for its time. The operation was a success. James Cornish's life was saved, and he went on to live for many years after the surgery. This was more than just a personal victory for Williams, this was a monumental moment in medical history. Against all odds with limited resources and under intense pressure Williams had performed the first successful open-heart surgery. He had ventured into uncharted territory and emerged victorious forever changing the landscape of medicine. This marked the first successful open-heart surgery, a feat that seemed impossible only moments before. Williams's pioneering work did not stop at the operating table. His thirst for innovation and unwavering commitment to improve medical standards extended far beyond the surgical room. After his groundbreaking surgery, Williams's career took him to new heights. He was appointed as the first African-American surgeon to the prestigious American College of Surgeons. A monumental achievement, true. But Williams, always the trailblazer, saw this as an opportunity to effect even greater change. In this esteemed position, he tirelessly worked to improve hospital conditions, particularly for African Americans. He understood the immense power of representation and inclusivity in the field of medicine. His efforts were not in vain. They resulted in a ripple effect that changed the course of medical history, paving the way for future generations of African American healthcare professionals. Williams's impact was not limited to hospital conditions alone. He deeply understood the importance of quality education as a cornerstone for progress. He made it his mission to enhance medical education for African Americans. He believed in the power of knowledge and sought to ensure that everyone, regardless of their race or socioeconomic status, had access to the best possible education. His contributions extended to his founding of the National Medical Association in 1895. This association served as a beacon of hope for African-American medical professionals at a time when mainstream medical associations did not allow their participation. Daniel Hale Williams was not just a surgeon, he was a visionary. He saw beyond the limitations of his time and worked relentlessly to create a world where everyone had an equal chance at success. His legacy is not just in the surgeries he performed or the institutions he helped establish. It is etched in the countless lives he touched and changed through his work. From his humble beginnings to his groundbreaking achievements, Daniel Hale Williams truly was a pioneer, whose footsteps continue to echo in the halls of medical history. His story is a testament to the power of determination, resilience, and unwavering commitment to the service of humanity. So, who was Daniel Hale Williams? This question invites us to reflect on the remarkable journey of a man who, despite the odds, became a beacon of hope, resilience, and innovation. Born into an era of adversity, his early life was a testament to his tenacity. Rising in the medical field he broke barriers and shattered preconceptions a testament to his limitless potential. His groundbreaking surgery the first successful open-heart procedure revolutionized the medical world and set a precedent that continues to save countless lives. His achievements, including the establishment of the first interracial hospital and his induction into the American College of Surgeons, are milestones in both medical and African-American history. A man of courage, resilience, and ingenuity, Daniel Hale Williams redefined the possibilities of medicine and left a legacy that continues to inspire us today. His story reminds us that the spirit of innovation and the courage to defy the odds can truly change the world.